it just I'm sorry I didn't come back. I just needed to clear yeah, my head. I get it. Okay. Okay. Did you get milk? We were out of milk and I was worried I wouldn't have milk. Yeah, I got the milk. Milk acquired. I have this huge paper due tonight. Fucking finals. I, I totally saw the cutest dog today. Do you want to see it? I'm good. It's just a dog. I said I'm good. Want to talk about it? It? The fight, Margot. Come on. I don't know what there's to talk about. Seems pretty clear to me. Yeah. I'm sorry. For? What? You're sorry for? Can't I just be sorry? Look, I understand why you're upset. I do just what? You just really want to go? You just really need to go? It's not like that. Oh, okay. So what is it like? I didn't make this decision lightly. I really thought about the good things and the bad things. I'm not a fucking pros and cons list, Jess. That's something you do when you're deciding what couch to buy. Not when you're deciding whether or not to abandon ship when the waters get a little dicey. That came out wrong. Look, I love you, but I've thought about this for a long time. Are you kidding me? You love me? You forgot my birthday, Jess. Oh, I... You forgot my birthday and the first thing you said to me in the morning was that you're moving 2,000 miles away and there's nothing I could do to stop you. No, happy birthday, or I love you. And you made up for it with the shitty card you bought from the fucking dollar store on your way home from work. After I buy you flowers and take you out to all your favorite restaurants, even on days that meant absolutely fucking nothing. It's fucking pathetic. I love you and you leave me. I mean, Jesus, Margot, did you think it was going to be one straight shot from sophomore year to side-by-side -side plots at the cemetery? I have to do what's best for me. Why are you acting like I don't want what's best for you? Why are you acting like I'm the villain here? I'm not acting like anything. It's not like I'm dying, Margot. We'd still talk all the time. I'd call you every day <laughs> and we could... People only say that when they want to sound like they have their shit together enough to maintain an already broken relationship over a fucking cell phone. You know when we were in that abandoned factory three months after we first started dating? And you said you loved me? When I said I loved you? We just looked at each other and stared silently because we didn't want to ruin the moment. After all the butterflies had settled down and all the adrenaline had left my body, all I could think about was when it was going to end. All I could think about was that no matter how much I loved you, because I genuinely do love you, I couldn't help but feel this timer slowly ticking down to the inevitable moment where I would no longer stare silently out of love. I would stare silently because all I felt when I looked at you was utter fucking regret. And I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. I am so... I'm just sorry.
Ten times. Well, I'm sorry, 